Uh, again, PureSpectrumCBD.com. Use the code MUP. Sneakers and fashion. Let's start with the Yeezy Earth and the Tailgate releases. Ah, yes. I don't care about either of these. What about you? Um, I, you know what? I don't mind the Earth, which is actually our region. So we're looking at three new uh, spe region-specific models coming out. Uh, as you mentioned, we have the Earth. That is uh, February 22nd, so they're all this Saturday, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we have something to look forward to on Saturday because releases otherwise uh, are not very good after All-Star Weekend. All-Star Weekend kind of took all the cred for that. But uh, February 22nd, uh, the Earth, that is ours. That is for Americas. And you are looking at... Uh, Jalal will have it up there here in a second. That's the tailgate there. But the earth is the kind of, that's the flax. And then the earth is the kind of diarrhea looking one. There you go. Oh, yeah. So it is It is brown. It is, <laughs> I don't really know how to explain that. It is. It's earth. It's poop. That's earth. It's poop looking. Yeah. So I don't know, man, but uh, uh, Adidas just opened up their... Uh, uh, their raffle system on the app. Uh, so that opened up this morning, uh, February 18th, I think at like nine o'clock. So that is available right now. If anybody wants the earth, I did put in a raffle just to see it. Cause we know that Adidas, uh, stock pictures are garbage. So absolutely. I don't really know what to expect because we've also seen renderings of these having that yellow around the, uh, where you put your ankle foot collar. in the ankle collar. I've seen that in yellow. I've also seen a little bit of yellow on the uh, the pool tag uh, on the back. So I don't really know what to expect. But obviously, there's no yellow in these, so I don't think there's going to be yellow. But again, Adidas stock photos are absolutely atrocious. Um, so I'm neighborhood I'm, saying they're olive. We finally got an olive Yeezy V2, and you're out. He said. He said they're olive. That don't look olive to me, bro. Yeah, I don't see olive. I don't as see much. olive. You know, if I see olive to me is like the Trace Cargo Ultra Boost or like some shit right. in that realm. Like, I, I, Jalo's got olive 2.0 on. Throw me that real quick. Does it stink? No. Okay. Nah. Bro. This is olive. Yeah. This is olive, bro. That's the 2.0 to me. Jalal's rocking the 2.0 olive Ultra Boost. Hit my cam with that real quick. Bam! Look at that. That's olive. To That's me, olive. Neighborhood. So are, are you saying neighborhood? If you got a pair in hand and they look like this, I'm in, bro. Mm-hmm. But the diarrhea joints that we're putting up on the screen, I'm not getting all of that. that. <laughs> I'm getting about what Jalal's boost these looks like. like but I, I don't oh, know. you can't Aren't even see like it. All kind of forest green. What these? Yeah. Nah. Nah. That's that's olive to me. These are olive to me. Olive. Yeah, I guess the olive fives are that color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, neighborhood, to answer your question on this, uh, if Jalal puts that image back up there, um, the only olive that I see on this picture is possibly the outsole that comes around the backside. That oh. looks a little bit more olive color to me. Um, maybe the boost, uh, not the boost window, excuse me, just the just kind of that opening that you have in the actual upper. That might be a little olive-y because it's a little darker. But aside from that, so see the, look at the photo right there. The so see that bottom of the outsole? You can kind of maybe see a little bit of olive tint to that. But outside yeah. of that, I, I really don't, man. Yeah, dude. I, and maybe, dude, neighborhood's up on way more game than me. So maybe he knows some shit. Yeah. Maybe he's seen a pair. But like I said, stock photos or... suck. So we never know what to expect. That's the worst. So I am in the raffle. Um, I'm hoping to actually get the shoe. Uh, will I keep the shoe? I'm at a, I'm at a probably 80% no. But mm. I do want to see it in hand, though, for sure. Uh, but going to the, the tailgate. Here we go. Looking like the same shoe that I've had. This I don't know if this looks like the hyperspace. I'm so confused by all the region the exclusive ones here in the past. But this to me looks just like one we've had in the past, except for the the orange pool tab that sticks out. Um, this tail light or whatever it's called, I I'm just not not a fan of it. Really, there's nothing really to offer. There's nothing that says buy me. It just looks like anything else that I could buy. There's nothing that says I have to have this. So that is exclusive to Europe and Russia. And then the third one, which I think is probably the most ugly one, um, that looks very, very similar to uh, the Yeezy that just came out, the Marsh, uh, you have the Flax. And that is exclusive to, let me find it here, that is exclusive to Asia Pacific and Africa. And again, the Flax, um, maybe if I lived on the farm, I could still get with this one. Do you care about the... the the pull tab or non pull tab? Are you a pull tab or I'm, non pull tab? I'm a pull tab guy. guy. Pull tab. Guy. I gotta have the pull tab if I can. I think me too. Initially, when I me too on the V2. Yeah, well initially when V2s came out, I was not a pull tab. I think I I didn't like it when they first added the pull tab to the breads. I think it was the first pair. But now I don't know. I 
Owning pairs that have and don't have, I think I like the ones better that do have. Are you guys getting tired of this silhouette? Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh. for sure, for I'm, sure. Like I'm, there's so many I can't even keep I'm, up. I'm in, I'm like, worn into the ground. But they're still selling out, and arguably, um, you know, it could take a week or two if they do hit some stores. Some people not picking them up, and that's that's going to happen. But they're still selling out, so I, I mean, I can't blame Adidas. No, no, but no. absolutely tired of it. It's tired of it in two twenty. Tired of it, dude. I've got two twenties. Do you know that I only have uh, three V twos left in my whole collection? Really, which I, ones? Uh, I have the Beluga 2.0, but I have it listed right now on Goat, and I have the uh, the Zebra, and I have the uh, Yeez Real Reflective mm. that we did a review on. Yeah, right. That's right. all I have. Wow. And I have the Yeezy 500 slates. I have those, and I think that's all I have Yeezy wise. Now I do have a Yeezy coming to the house uh, tonight. I won't say what it is, but we'll show it on the cast tomorrow or on Thursday. The Taylor, a lot of people think the Earths are some people. I've seen a lot of people saying they're dope, including Taylor in here. Earths are fire. Finally, a colorway you could tell the difference from. There's Otherwise, some, there's some truth to that. Status Sarah graph, baby shit brown. So, which side <laughs> are you on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad it has the pool tab. I do like the pool tab, and that's my one favorite part of that. That it has a, t- a pool tab that is a different color, like the laces. I like that differentiation there. But until I see that in hand, I'm you know I'm more out than in. Socratic Mind said, John King, I don't think the cast knew your reference about John Jones in the Astros, LOL. Is there an inside joke there? Break it down for me. Give me some, give me some info, bro. Uh, give me some info on that. Yeah, Either come, of on, you. come on, status. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe we didn't get it. I don't know. I thought it was just for protection. So, he would, so they need, we need to beat some fools up. Maybe it's deeper. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Oh, a Dirty DJ says, no blacks left. Nope. <laughs> Sold them. Blacks. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, just the all black, the non-reflective joints. All right, Plum Dunks. Let's go. Plum Dunks. Let's see. Show those over here. The Plumethy. The Plumethy. I saw Teddy was uh, not that pumped with your Plum Dunks. Yeah, he, <laughs> he wanted to talk shit, but he didn't. He uh, he respected the Dow Palantonio, which I appreciate. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, 2001, we talked about it uh, on previous casts. Uh, it, it was a Japan exclusive. It is now available to... <laughs> more of the world here a little easier to get resale is still a little high on these joints but what i will say Whoa, is uh-huh. the quality on these things oh. are uh, immaculate they're really really nice uh the downfall to these guys you get the kind of red plummy uh laces you don't get a second set of laces at all oh which i think is an opportunity uh because you get a flat lace why didn't they put one rope lace at least in there you know, give me a thick rope lace. Let me see what it looks like. You know, you mean um, like the normal dunk laces? Yeah, like the exactly. Yeah, oval, yeah. Uh-huh. oval. Yeah, you got it. But this is more true, obviously, to the OG. I get that, but no second set. What's mm-hmm. what's going on with that? Now, I would lace swap it for sure. My pair specifically. I want you to look at this one, and look at th- just just go ahead and look at. See if you can find a flaw. I noticed a few flaws. Well, this one already you got some stitching on the front toe there. That's okay. a little bit of an issue. Sticking out, mm-hmm. and, uh, it's, and it's got a widow's peak. Do you see that? Uh, this one does too. I yeah. think it may be on all it's the got, pairs. It's got a little widow's peak. You know, how some I, Jordan ones they do that. Some they yeah, don't. I the Elevens, probably. You know, and oh they, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You could authenticate Jordan Elevens uh, back in the past with a widow's peak or without. Uh, a flaw. Is this a uh, men's? Shoe? Oh, the sole. Is yeah, that's all. Get yeah. messed up. Look how close. Yeah, look at the bottom. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. Just Is, peep this out, dude. Isn't that the craziest thing? Look at the outsole. Ever seen? Just look at the outsole. The outsole is the problem. Uh, outsole. Look Whoa. at this one. So it's like really. It's like pushed in. Yeah, it's that's strange, dude. I've never. How do you describe that? It's like um, it's like a little string sticking out alongside the. No, that is that. No. Yeah, that's messed up. But look at the bottom. Look, look at the outsole. Bottom. Look at it. It's it's a pushed in, dude. It's like a concaved. Oh yeah. Here, uh, I'll put it on the yeah, screen. Or I'll. See if you can show everybody that. Like, I almost thought my shit was fake. This is uh, this is from Goat. I have everything, but yeah. See if you can see how that goes in, like right here. here. No. It's hard to tell. Maybe yeah, you can you, get it for him, Dale. There you go. No, you, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah, away from the camera. Oh, there you go. See how it's kind of uh, yeah, it's just pushed in on the bottom there, on in the heel. Can you feel that when you put the shoe on? Do you feel that at all? I'm. Oh, you haven't put Is them on, on yet. both sides. I haven't so put that's it like in. A, on purpose. No, yeah. no, it's not on this. It's side. It's not oh, on really? that one. Not on this side. 
So yeah, yeah, it's like I got a defective outsole. I've never seen anything like that on a Jordan One or a Dunk. Where did you pick these up at? Uh, goat. And wow. Goat. Goat, uh, goat. Let those go. I don't know. So as you see, you have your inspection uh, right here on my camera. Um, and it passed everything, skew, size, condition, authentication, the structure. I might even say it's a structure issue. Structural damage. Yeah, right there. Uh, you can't really I see might, it. I might send those back. But uh, yeah, man. So I, I don't know what to think about those because if I ever resold them, I would look at them and be like, what the fuck? What's going on here? I'm yeah. Not, I'm not about that. No doubt. But, but I think otherwise, the quality, the materials, the new buck, the suede, uh, insane. Just really, really nice pair. I love that they're not of the SB uh, family. It's just the Nike Dunk, which is super cool to the OG status. A uh, hundred bucks was the retail on these guys. Um, I paid just over that. I paid. Uh, I got a pretty good deal actually because they range right now two fifty, two sixty, two seventy. Um, I paid one ninety three shipped. Uh -oh. So kind of a weird number, but yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. it was with goat tax and all that. Nice. But, but uh, nothing too crazy, but yeah, I thought it's a great pair. I'm just pissed off about the outsole. Right. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Um, uh, I'm looking for a size 7 in men's if anybody has one. On these for, plums? For a decent price, yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. Size 7 for Jalal. Size 7. Let's finish up really quickly. We're running late. Uh, Supreme season is back. Oh, Did man. you see Ted with the Oreos already? Uh, no, that was that was a leaked image. He doesn't oh, have them. Oh, oh. No, that was that he stole. <laughs> I was that like, off. what? How? He stole that off the internet. Well, you gotta, he's not even cool with stock X anymore. Or maybe he's cool with them. Okay, Jalal, what I want you to have on the screen first. Let's do the Supreme New York. Uh, kind of like I told you, the accessories. So this is going to be a page that just shows what to expect throughout the season, and then we'll break down week one. So, franchise, go ahead and take a look at some of these accessories. Yeah, you, you could put that up in full, Jalal. Yeah, put it up in full. Yeah, they ain't gonna get, that, get us get on that, that. Get that big. Let's take over the whole screen. Now we need to see us. Care just like care Robin says. Us. Just like Robin says all the time to me. Make it bigger, babe. Whoa, Let's dang! Make it bigger, babe. <laughs> we'll do a little. We'll do a little reverse action here. <laughs> make it bigger. What is reverse action. Yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean, Jalal? Yes. Go. Oh. Oh, nice. Reverse action. I get okay. It so check this out. So first things first. This is a Mac tool chest. Mac Tools is who makes this. So, you know, you see the snap on trucks. Oh, you see yeah. all these trucks that drive around. This is an officially licensed Mac Tool Chest. Now, the regular retail of this, fuck Supreme on it. The regular retail of this is about five, uh, $5,500. Oh, Ooh. I was going to so, guess like, a, I was going to guess like maybe a grand, two grand. 5,500 $5, is the normal retail oh, of this chest. Bro. You throw Supreme on this. I, w I would expect this to be somewhere between 6,800 and 7 Oh, racks. yeah, dude. So this thing is going to tax the oh, hell yeah, out of you. Power Look at that. There. Supreme dream. Now, this is only available, obviously, in the stores. It doesn't sound like they're going to, sh going to ship this one. So it sounds like it's just going to be a staple within the, uh, the L.A. stores, the New York, the if Japan. If you want this, you'll be able to get it probably, right? Well, as much it's as that is, like hype. what do you mean that's not going to be? That's going to be crazy. It, people, it's just like the pinball machine, that's dog. That's going to be crazy. A pinball machine sold for double, triple. Dude, that's going to be crazy that hard to get. Yeah. I think resellers are not going to mess with this because they really? can't ship it. You don't think they can't throw it on StockX? Dude, but but this thing is going to be in the stores. You're if you nuts. want this, walk yeah. into yeah. Supreme and go. No, you're not going to walk into Supreme buy this. No <laughs> way. This guy's nuts. Huh? No Dude, way. Have you been this around is a for a nightmare Supreme for season? resellers? Dude, they've done so many huge items. What about the mini bike? Yeah. Look, go look what the mini bike is reselling for. Yeah. Can you ship the mini? You see the box that thing comes in? Seth Fowler had you it sit in his like living room for those, 10 years. Yeah, you got to you got to have some context. Yeah, but you ain't going to be able to walk into Supreme store. There is absolutely no way <laughs> you can walk into a Supreme store and get this. This guy's crazy. No that way. A dirt crazy. bike is cool. Like a, this is a tool chest. This is like, come on. Hey, people need this. Especially Dude, there's that brand. tons of people that are into probably Supreme that are into cars and gear shit. Yeah, that would love to have this in their garage. Are oh, you yeah. kidding me, dude? What's Skateboard the over under? People? Come on, over under what? What resale? <laughs> on this, on this being in the stores that you can me, walk into a store odds. and buy that. <laughs> That's not an over under, but but it would be like the odds would be like, uh, oh, dude, I'd give you, I'd give you <laughs> ten to one. You know what, man? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now. Give me whatever you want, and I, these are already sold backdoored. Trust me. You oh, are yeah. not gonna be able to get these. In oh store. yeah, it's like the guitar. Yeah, it's like any of that shit, dude. Yeah. The drum set, the pearl. Remember that? Remember that it, nightmare? Yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah. Come on, Jalal. 
No way. Walk into the store and buy it. No one's gonna All want right. it. All right. So let's let's, let's speed this up a little bit. So go back to go back to uh, the main accessory page oh real quick. Uh, we'll only zoom on a couple things here. So this bicycle is cool. It's made off of a 1995. Uh, Flatland. Um, they also call it like a dirt track bike. Okay. Okay. So what um, brand? Uh, S M. Oh, nice. Which is really, really big uh, in the bike industry. S and M really just they don't make full bikes necessarily. S and M as a company really is known for their components. Okay. So from the handlebars the to neck. the neck to the stems, they call it. Yeah. yeah. The stem uh, to your cranks to your sprockets, whatever. S and M makes some of the best parts. Odyssey makes a lot of the parts as well. Um, but this is gonna be this is gonna be huge. I'd love to have this but i know that there's no way i'm going to be able to get this i mean i'm the bmx god you yeah. know how many i have at oh, the crib. Yeah, dude, you've yeah. been to the crib many times i've been bmxing with you we went to the park yeah dude so i'd love to have I'll that some, i'll do some bmxing so let's move on from that I'll, I'll try but there's no way i can get that so next thing dude the three pack of the supreme oreo cookies love it one to eat one to stock one to sell oh okay. right <laughs> i mean i guess All that's right. Cool. Let's move on. Go to the uh, <laughs> go to the pendant for me here, Jalal. Give me a little expertise. So this is a fourteen oh, yeah. karat gold pendant uh, that has Supreme stamped in there. Uh, you see the size, obviously a quarter in comparison to it. Pretty tiny. Um, what do you think, Jalal? Is this is that is quality? This, is this tight? This seems to be a solid fourteen karat gold um, pendant. Not like the plated ring. I think the other one was plated. So. I'm interested to see what the price is on that. What do you, what would it go? What do you think it should go for just in your shop, without Supreme? Um, if these letters, uh, it looks like that's not really diamonds. It's just like obvious. A yeah, it design. just looks like. Hey, um, you guys are pretty lucky. Okay. I did my research, Jalal. What do you think it is? Because oh. I got pricing on all this shit. Oh shit! Okay, I got the leak snakes. What, what do I you think? think? It, what it's worth versus? Well, what, no. Supreme. What do you think Supreme has to set? Uh, four seventy-five. Damn, you're almost spot on. Four ninety eight retail cost yeah. from Supreme. I do this, man. This is what I do. Wow! But I mean, you said what? Sorry, four seventy five. So they're only giving you. I thought you would be lower because so that's a good value for the Supreme. one he's saying so I can buy no, something no, he from Jalal. He asked, "What do I think Supreme has?" What you, oh, yeah. okay, I got yeah, you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I was I was wondering what you were. He's he just stating for. that this is better value than the ring. Because of the plating, plating right, versus, right. yeah. Yeah, I think gotcha. the ring was just uh, dipped in gold. This looks like it's uh, stamped 14 carats. So. Real quick, I don't, so I do have a lot of pricing, but they don't have that Mac tool, uh, tool, tool chest yet on there. So don't have an idea of that or the bicycle yet, but any other pricing that you want, I, I should have. So what's next? John King said, I'm into BD S&M. Oh, nice. Dude, <laughs> check this out. Oh, wow. You, how, how, many, how many vinyl records do I have? A lot. I have 362 vinyl records. And I have, Robin got me one of the greatest turntables of all time. But this, I just have to have. The Newmark. I what? just have to have the Newmark uh, turntable, man. I think this is so sick with uh, the box logo on top. You got the Supreme branding on the side. This isn't going to be a great turntable by any means. As a matter of fact, what do you think the cost is uh, that Supreme is taxing on this? So, I have no so idea. So I think this is a model that Newmark sells already. Yes, it um, is. It's like 99 bucks. Yep. $99 for the OG. Yep. So I don't know what Supreme's. Supreme has it at it, 168 Oh, I was going to say double. I was going to say 199 Yeah. That's One, not bad. So 168 man, I'm going to be chasing this. Uh, neighborhood, GoldenEye, if any of you fools are listening and can bot this out for me, uh, let me know. Uh, I, I, I have to have you this. Have just incredible guy. Yeah, just incredible. Shit, man, I forgot. Um, yeah, man, anybody that has a, has a bot, please hit me up in the DM. This is something that I want. And as we get into our next segment, this is actually a week one drop. Oh, really? So please hit me up if, if you have uh, any any opportunities to land this. Let me know. Um, How much are the Oreos? The Oreos. I wish that was a pack of them. Yeah, I know. Like, like a, a full, just on, like, full. Yeah, regular package. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Three. Um, I doesn't have the Oreo pricing in uh, my price guide here yet. No, no pricing yet. No price guide. So go ahead and zoom out, Jalal. Let's so this just, is all stuff that is dropping, but not necessarily of, week yeah. one, just uh, throughout the season. Yeah, go ahead and zoom out to where you see everything real quick, and we'll just do kind of a, a quick run through here. Uh, go. Yeah, there you go. So binoculars, not too oh, interested yeah. in, um, but they are nice. Uh, Leica. 
is oh. is a company who makes lenses specifically. Yeah. When you know the Leica lens, cameras, wow, binoculars. Yeah. So yeah, film should be great. Yeah, you have your uh, instant film uh, that you can take Polaroids on that has the box logo. This is interesting, this belt. It looks cheap as shit, but this is all Swarovski uh, crystals. BB so that Simon. so that they've used in their box gotcha, logo, yeah, uh, yeah. So Swarovski, I think it's Savorsky. how you say it. Savorsky, whatever. Um, they're using a lot of crystals from that company in this belt, so that's pretty cool. Go a little lower, Jalal. Uh, the lawn chair, <laughs> I think, is uh, <laughs> is probably a pass for me, but uh, I think it'd be cool to stunt if I had kids, dude, in a soccer game. Oh, I'd be buying that for sure. Outside of that, don't really need it. The lawn chair, I think yeah. it's pretty sick. Yeah. I rock with that. I like the, uh, I really like, for some reason, that those Polaroids are dope to me. Yeah. I think it would be really, really dope to take all 10 photos of that and like put a cork board up and put them all up in the studio. That would be super like sick. Because it has it on shit. the actual. Yeah, it's yeah. a cream on a shit. It has the box like, logo It would be just a dope the... art piece for our studio. Mm -hmm. We just have a bunch of like dope Polaroids <laughs> right. of us in different fits or whatever. I kind of want these Ziploc bags. Yeah, so this is interesting that you mentioned Pretty that. Hard. Yeah, we'll skip the <laughs> Serape and the basketball. They're cool, whatever. The bags are interesting because what is really Supreme doing? We look at Supreme doing ashtrays. We look at Supremes doing their way scales. Yeah. The now we're ha now we're having the Zippos. Now we're having the Ziploc bags. Like these guys really take care of people in their weed. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm. So uh, get your weed Ziploc bags. I'd love to. Uh, again, if I had kids, I'd be packing the damn you know peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the Supreme Ziploc bag, sending them on his way. I think that's fire. Go down a little bit. I keep all my shit in jars right now, but if I can get those Supreme. Uh Ziplocs. I'll, I'll make the switch. You're there. Yeah, sick. I like it. Uh, the speedo glasses. Not don't need the cap or the or or the goggles. Now this is interesting. If you have the red catcher's mitt or catcher's uh, helmet, now you have the chest protector. Right. Which is cool. So yep. now you can kind of so, complete some stuff. Uh, the bicycle helmet. I am absolutely out on. But you know who wants that? Fail beast. Fail beast. Needs that guy. That. that guy needs the bicycle helmet for sure. Um, as we go a little further. Dude, tell me that Leatherman is maybe not the most fire Leatherman you've ever seen. Not only does it say Supreme on the actual Leatherman when you close it, mm -hmm. see how it says Supreme? The leather pouch that it comes in saying Supreme on the bottom of the leather pouch. Dude, I think this is sick, dude. And it's actually the Leatherman brand. I think this is a great piece. This is one you you're definitely need to have because need you have, have a regular. I need to have three. You have a regular that you carry around all the time. I've yep. seen you using it in here to yep. do stuff. That I saw you trying to put up the uh, TVs that we haven't put up yet with it. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw that I, one. I hung up the po uh, Supreme. shot it, Gal. The Supreme poster there behind us. I hung that up. <laughs> you did hang that up. But you used oh. it as a hammer. <gasps> with Mish the was asking about that a couple of shows ago. I don't think he knows that we just we moved it down a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. Because he was asking after the... Uh, Oh, Stone yeah, we bolt. just uh, adjusted it, Misha. We just moved it down a little, so it's now in the frame for, like, sneaker reviews or whatever. But I guess, like, we could put it down here in the middle. We That's could. what we should do. Yeah, we can do that. But we needed it to balance this out. That's what we'll do. Somebody, man, if somebody, we need we need a, uh, we need a Ric Flair fathead. If somebody comes through with a Ric Flair fathead for the show, for the studio, I'll hook you up with, like, the next couple merch drops. I'll just figure out a way. I'll just comp you. That'd be dope. With the next couple merch drops, if somebody wants to donate a Ric Flair fat head, man, you got one laying around, whatever. I need a Ric Flair one for the other side of Stone Cold. We need yeah. two of them. Because we'll get the reviews. I can zoom in and go, hell yeah, on one, and then go, whoa, on the other. You know what I mean? I need that shit in my life. That'd be sick. We need that on the channel. So, uh, Ric Flair fat head. Sorry. All right. So, to wrap this up here, um, obviously, the ashtray, uh, the debossed ashtray, I think you'd be interested in. It comes in a clear and it comes in the red, which is pretty cool. Yeah, nice. Um, I think that's nice. Uh, it shows pictures of it. Yeah, yeah there's the clear. clear. Okay. Yeah. I think they're both pretty sick. Um, I wouldn't mind having either one. Um, the next thing that stands up to me is the woven straw mat. I initially thought it might might have been a yoga mat. Finally. And where I get into yoga, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't, that's I, that's the reason yeah, he hasn't yeah. been into yoga. I don't know if you could use this in <laughs> yoga, but 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 it's not it's not this big one behind me. And I think this might be more uh, allowed in a yoga mm, studio. Yeah. So maybe I'll hit that up. See if that works. Dude, you know exactly what that is. Have you seen those little those those mats? Um, you walk into like a shop and they got one right when you first work in like a mixed up creations or like a pot shop or a uh -huh. head shop and they got one of those roll out mats and it's like kind of puffy okay. and it's the little puffy. Is that what that is? I don't know. 
It's no, like I think that. that's super. It's probably really thin. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think you're doing yoga on it. I don't think it's like. But could I? I don't know, guy. A couple of different colorways here. I think those are sick, though. I don't know. That looks like it would be hurting you, bro. Yeah, I think so. It's probably just more of a decor piece for here, huh? Yes. Okay, got it. Maybe for the other side of the stude. Yeah, then for we'd sure. We'd have to take down Stone Cold. So I like that. That looks cool. Uh, and again, uh, let's just go over a couple few things. Uh, the lighter's pretty cool. Uh, the bottle is cool because if you take that sleeve off, it just has the real small box logo, mm. Supreme Box logo on it. Nice. It's clear. Very cool. Um, what about the uh, the bird call? <laughs> Well, I you was stick that in confused. your mouth and do a yeah. bird call? Where's Duck Hodges? I know. Where's, <laughs> Duck, <laughs> where's Duck Hodges? Duck Hodges needs to get uh, get on out and cop this. I think Supreme's Pittsburgh been Steelers. Watching the, watching the moves here. Yeah, oh, it must be. Uh, the mugs, look mugs. at that. The mugs are cool. <laughs> yeah. They've been watching so, the moves. It's almost underrated. Those look a lot cheaper than ours, <laughs> quality-wise. Right, yeah, yeah look at like the plastic, plastic handle. Yeah, yeah, just the straight like plastic it. handle. Um, Jalal, show one more thing, and then let's go to week one here. Uh, keep going. Oh my God, we're so over Here on the show. Dude, the we're ballpark so poncho. I'd like to get you this, man, for your Rockies game. Even though you have a way sicker oh, Rockies Oh yeah, one. the ballpark poncho. Get you a little ballpark poncho that's there. That's pretty dope. Which Dang, is pretty we got sick. the Hanes boxers that's and the that, socks. That's always available, though. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can cop that stuff anytime. All right, so pounds. let's go to the drop list, which uh, week one, uh, Jalal, I should have sent you that as well. Is that a clipper lighter? It says waterproof lighter Damn case. It. Oh, waterproof lighter case. That's fire. Yeah. Waterproof you could use lighter that. case. I could use that. I wonder use if it, um, can you light it in the, yeah, like the, in the rain? Oh, in the rain. No, it just keeps it waterproof. Like if I wanted to put that shit in my swim trunks. Oh, yeah. See, so uh, you got the rubber seal right there. You just, and then you open it up and it still lights. It doesn't make it waterproof in the rain. you want to put it in your swim trunks, you could <laughs> fire up in the. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm at, yeah, if I'm, uh, if it's I'm up hot at the springs, I'm up at the hot spring, I'm up at the river, whatever. I don't want to, I can't want to carry my lighter with me onto the raft. Yeah, you know. Gotcha. Yeah, there you go. You throw it That's in your cool. throw it in your shorts, and it keeps it waterproof, so you can still All spark right, we're up. On the Supreme All right, so dude, check out what's already happening this week. I got the Leatherman. I got the turntable. You got the Nalgene. Mm. You got dude the lighter, the non-waterproof lighter. The Tupac Telegram T, huh? The hologram, yes. Oh, the hologram. The hologram, <laughs> not Telegram. <laughs> telegram. It's not even a word. It's Telegram. Now, the the one, the pendants are up. Now, the one thing I thought you might like as a shirt, yeah, uh, because you know I kind of know your style. Well, this might have been you know uh, five, six years ago style, but Jalal, go back up for me, uh, slow. Hold, go back down. Down, down, down. Almost there. Okay. Go to the Cherries tee. Now, this is a shirt that maybe I couldn't oh, yeah. see you wearing today, but like five, six Back years like ago, too many dude. Loose strings dude, and this like, was, yeah. this is, this is a go-to mm -hmm. for you. So I think, I think this is probably a go for you. I feel yeah. like this, there was shirts like that way back. Yeah. Like that's, that's what he's saying. Like, yeah. yeah. I used that's to have. Deep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. Yep. A lot of those brands. TMLS was, was too many loose strings. Uh -huh. It was also at Azumi's, PacSun, that type yeah. of shit. Yeah, I had a shirt like that. I was remembering. I had a yeah. shirt like it said. It said wifey, and it had a chicken like a thong, and she was ironing a... Oh, a they were the hottest. Ironing yeah. a hottest thing chicks. of clothes, and she was like drinking a bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> so wifey, I could see you maybe going for that. Uh, I don't know. Again, it's too early for me to kind of gauge some of this hype. Um, the big... You know, obviously the Tupac shirt, I think, will be a uh, huge uh, turntable. I don't really know what to expect. Um, I'm hoping that I can get the turntable, but I think the Tupac shirt will be pretty huge. Um, outside of that, the Leatherman. Um, I, I don't know. The pendant, I, again, I don't know. The Nike ring didn't do very well, but that was grossly expensive yeah, yeah. Uh, for what it was. Uh, the bird call, <laughs> who knows if that's going to go this week uh, in terms of sellout. But uh, I, think I think probably the hoodies here. Yeah, I don't really like them, man. I don't Neighborhood really said, can you guys do heaters for Supreme items? Like which items you think would have resale? That'd basically be like an over under. We could. We'd have to set a value for each item each week and then do an over under and see how many we hit. We could do that. Might about be, this? I'll be down. Oh, the black yeah. cat the black tea. Cat tea. Wow. Uh, yeah. No, I don't. I don't think. I don't think it'll do well. No, it looks like Tom and Jerry. I yeah, I don't think it'll do well at all. I wouldn't um, know the difference from that. It seems like a lot of their designs are going, you know, throwbacks to the old. Yeah, the old yeah. stuff. I'm wondering what that t that tie dyed shirt is going to do uh, right below that because tie dyed is obviously you know uh, super popular right now, and you know to have the cross. Uh, what does it say? Loved Lo by the children. Loved by the children. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to see what you know what the what the tie dye joint might do. Jefferson um, Jr. said eight Oreos are eight bucks. 
Eight bucks. There you go. Yep. Uh, anything else? Anybody else say anything? I'm looking through. Looking through. But outside of that, what do you think about those pants? Look at them sweatpants. The those mat. Good for festivals. Roll it out. Keep your ass off the grass, ah. bud. There you go. Keep your ass off the grass, yeah. Will. There goes these stone washed jeans. Oh, dude, I'm trying Loose to get. Fit. I'm trying. I'm trying to get six of those. <laughs> I, I let Jevin know about these, <laughs> oh, so I think no. Jevin's all in. Jev would be. I think in. it's time, man. Baggy's coming back. Are you getting those, Jalal? Uh, let's see what we'll see what they see what they sell for. Yeah, you, try, you trying to cover up your Travis Scott sixes with those? <laughs> yeah, cover up all your sneakers. I'm into cherry pie by Warrant in the 90s. Hell yeah. Dude, Dude. this is all dropping in one week or what? Yeah, no, dude. Yeah, this is this uh, is one week. This is week the week one. one. Jeez. Now, week one, as you all know uh, how this works, week, so it's week one, week zero, whatever you want to call it. So the first week is always done in stores this Thursday. Yeah. So the, fir- the opening Thursday of it. And then everything else drops uh, online on Monday, the 27th. Yeah. yeah.